The College of Science and Engineering here at San Francisco State University hosts an annual project showcase displaying the hard work and talents of their students. The event is open to everyone from SF State and the community at large. Each group has a chance to describe what they've created, the issues faced while working on their project, and what they can add in the near future to make their products even better. Let's hear firsthand from the students on what they've been working on. Hi there, how's it going? My name is Brandon Leo Pipitelli. Uh, I'm an engineering major, mechanical engineering major here at San Francisco State. Um, I'm working on a project right now alongside Cubo and uh, ha Javier Fernandez. Um, basically what our idea is, is a, a automatic basketball returner. What it does is, after you make a shot, it rotates every 30 degrees. So after a shot is made, it'll rotate to the next 30 degrees. Once you re reach the uh, baseline of the court um, and you make a shot, it'll rotate in the opposite direction. Let me show you what I mean. So after I make a shot, the ball is returned and the shoot rotates 30 degrees. I make another shot, the ball rotates another 30 degrees. Now see this switch right here, this is a limit switch. Basically, when it's, when it's activated, this button will be pressed. So that's why we have this ball here. So once this button is pressed, we have it in our microcontroller to tell the system, to tell the motor to rotate in the opposite direction. Watch out for the uh, automatic basketball returner. And by the way, the name is Make It Take It. Hi, my name is Christian Fernandez, and this is my partner, Andrew Navarro, and we are both mechanical engineers. Uh, our senior design project is titled The Drink Mixer, and what the goal of The Drink Mixer is to, is to dispense two liquids set by the user to uh, dispense it at a specific ratio. So basically, um, the main parts of our drink mixer are the microcontroller, which is the brain, which uh, receives all the outputs from our sensors and it also uh, uh, sends out an output or to our solenoid bytes to actuate them. And so the other major part is the differential pressure sensors which uh, detect the liquid level of the height. This is at the 50-50 ratio. You could choose to uh, want and favor the left side of the container which is the yellow liquid or you could choose to go to the right side and uh, this, the, the ratio that will be dispensed will favor the blue side. So let's go ahead and try, say, a 50-50 ratio. And basically, all you do is press the button and let it do its work. And the result of the liquid should be a nice shade of green. How's it going? Uh, my name is Jeremy Martinez, and uh, I'm representing the group um, who build a powered Lazy Boy recliner. Um, basically what it is, it's the revolution in the quality of one's leisure time at home. So we designed our uh, motorized Lazy Boy. And uh, basically what it is, it's, um, it's a controllable Lazy Boy, which you can uh, drive around your house. Uh, what you see currently is, um, is a temporary uh, motor controller. However, we have designed it so that you can control it with uh, an iPod, uh, iPhone, iPad, um, or iTouch. So we're hoping that uh, very much like the TV, it'll uh, you know sweep the sweep the nation, and uh, there will be like, a one in every every house type of situation. So you know, see how it goes from now. But this is our prototype, and uh, it's fully functional, and uh, we really enjoy it. Hi, my name is Joachim Peterson. This is Curtis Hilger. Um, we did the uh, closed loop feedback control of a high frequency uh, inductive heating system for nanomaterial synthesis. Um, we developed uh, an end to end control system for controlling temperature of an uh, inductively heated nickel heating disc. So, controlling for temperature with a control system gets us better materials faster with more repeatability. This application here is what the user sees when they're running the system. This window right here is the trajectory, is the uh, input trajectory. This is where we want the temperature to go. This input by the user at the beginning is designed using this trajectory utility application where the user can specify it and save that file. Here we have the real-time tracking, the white being the temperature, 
and the red line being the trajectory. So as you can see here, they're very close to each other. So we're looking for the yellow and the white lines to track each other. Here we see some uh, data about the system in general. Um, this kind of tells us how powerful our controller is acting. This represents our current system temperature. We use some gauges that give us a quick glance look of what's going on over here. We've been working on this for the last year, since about uh, since last fall, when we first uh, thought of the idea. Um, this is Curtis and I, senior project for mechanical engineering, controls focus at San Francisco State. Uh, we presented it a few days ago uh, for our, uh, our our colleagues and our uh, advisors. And uh, yeah, hopefully it'll allow the research to go forward in a productive and effective manner.